Today, we are going to learn, about the planets, of the solar system. Let's imagine, for a moment, that we can leave the Earth behind, and, explore the solar system, that surround it. The solar system consists of the Sun, and everything that orbits, or, travels around, the Sun. This includes the eight planets, and their moons, dwarf planets, and, countless asteroids, comets, and other small icy objects. However, even with all these things, most of the solar system, is empty space. The solar system, itself is only a small part of, a huge system of stars, and other objects called, the Milky Way Galaxy. The solar system orbits, around the center of the galaxy, about once every 225 million years. The Milky Way Galaxy, is just one of billions of galaxies, that in turn make up, the universe. Sun At the center of the solar system, is a star called, the Sun. It is, the largest object in the solar system. Its, diameter, or distance, through its center, is 865,000 miles, 1,392,000 kilometers. The Sun contains, more than 99% of, all the material, in the solar system. The Sun is a very hot ball of hydrogen, and, helium gases. It has a temperature, at its core, of more than 28,080,000 degrees Fahrenheit, 15,600,000 degrees Celsius. It constantly changes, the hydrogen in, its core into, helium. This process gives, out huge amounts of radiation, or energy. Living things on Earth depend, on this energy, in the form of light, and heat. After the Sun, the largest objects, in the solar system are, the planets. In, our solar system, there are, eight, planets. The planets, in order from the Sun based on, their distance are, Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. Most of them orbit the Sun in paths shaped like circles. Scientists used to call Pluto the ninth planet. But in 2006 scientists decided, that several objects in the solar system, including Pluto, should be called, dwarf planets. Do you want to know more about, our solar system's eight planets? Mercury Mercury is the smallest planet, in our solar system. It's just a little bigger, than Earth's moon. It is the closest planet, to the Sun, but it's actually not the hottest. It has a solid surface, that is covered with craters. It has no atmosphere, and it doesn't have any moons. This small planet, spins around slowly, compared to Earth, so one day lasts a long time. Mercury takes 59 Earth days, to make one full rotation. A year on Mercury, goes by fast. Because, it's the closest planet to the Sun. It doesn't take, very long to go all the way around. It completes one revolution, around the Sun in just 88 Earth days. If you lived on Mercury, you'd have a birthday every three months. Venus The second closest planet to the Sun. Venus is on, 
average at a distance of 108 million kilometer, 67 million mile, or 0.72 astronomical units away from the Sun. It is the hottest planet of the solar system, since its atmosphere keeps the temperatures almost consistently the same. Its atmosphere is very thick, composed mainly out of carbon dioxide, nitrogen, and clouds of sulfuric acid. The gas traps heat and keeps Venus toasty warm. In fact, it's so hot on Venus metals, like lead would be puddles of melted liquid. Venus looks like a very active planet. It has mountains and volcanoes. Venus is similar in size to Earth. Earth is just a little bit bigger. Venus is unusual because it spins the opposite direction of Earth and most other planets. And its rotation is very slow. It takes about 243 Earth days to spin around just once. Because it's so close to the Sun, a year goes by fast. It takes 225 Earth days for Venus to go all the way around the Sun. Earth Earth is the third planet from the Sun in our solar system. That means Venus and Mars are Earth's neighboring planets. Our home planet Earth is a rocky, terrestrial planet. It has a solid and active surface, with mountains, valleys, canyons, plains, and so much more. Earth is special, because it is an ocean planet. Water covers 70% of Earth's surface. Our atmosphere is made mostly of nitrogen and has plenty of oxygen for us to breathe. A day on Earth lasts a little under 24 hours. One year on Earth lasts 365.25 days. That 0.25 extra means every four years we need to add one day to our calendar. We call it a leap day in a leap year. Earth has just one moon. It is the only planet to have just one moon. Earth has lots of spacecraft watching it. There is still a lot we can learn about our home planet. Mars Mars is the fourth planet from the Sun. That mean Earth and Jupiter are Mars neighboring planets. Mars is sometimes called the red planet. It's red because of rusty iron in the ground. Mars is a cold desert world. It is half the size of Earth. Mars has two moons. Their names are Phobos and Deimos. One day on Mars lasts 24.6 hours. It is just a little longer than a day on Earth. One year on Mars is 687 Earth days. It is almost twice as long as one year on Earth. Like Earth, Mars has seasons, polarized caps, volcanoes, canyons, and weather. It has a very thin atmosphere made of carbon dioxide, nitrogen, and argon. But the surface of the planet is not active. Its volcanoes are dead. Scientists want to know if Mars may have had living things in the past. They also want to know if Mars could support life now or in the future. Several missions have visited Mars. And Mars is the only planet we have sent rovers to. They drive around Mars taking pictures and measurements. Jupiter Jupiter is the biggest planet in our solar system. Jupiter is the fifth plane T from the Sun. That means Mars and Saturn are Jupiter's neighboring planets. Jupiter is a gas giant. It is made mostly of hydrogen and helium and doesn't have a solid surface 
but it may have a solid inner core about the size of Earth. It's similar to a star, but it never got massive enough to start burning. It is covered in swirling cloud stripes. It has big storms, like the Great Red Spot, which has been going for hundreds of years. Jupiter also has rings, but they're very hard to see. One day on Jupiter goes by in just 10 hours. One year on Jupiter is the same as 11.8 Earth years. Jupiter has 79 confirmed moons. Saturn Saturn is the sixth planet from the Sun. That means Jupiter and Uranus are Saturn's neighboring planets. Saturn isn't the only planet to have rings, but it definitely has the most beautiful ones. The rings we see are made of groups of tiny ringlets that surround Saturn. Saturn is a gas giant, like Jupiter. It is made mostly of hydrogen and helium. Saturn has a thick atmosphere. One day on Saturn goes by in just 10.7 hours. One year on Saturn is the same as 29 Earth years. Saturn has 53 moons. It also has 29 unconfirmed moons. Uranus Uranus is the seventh planet from the Sun. That means Saturn and Neptune are Uranus neighboring planets. Uranus is made of water, methane, and ammonia fluids above a small rocky center. Its atmosphere is made of hydrogen and helium, like Jupiter and Saturn, but it also has methane. The methane makes Uranus blue. Uranus also has faint rings. The inner rings are narrow and dark. The outer rings are brightly colored and easier to see. Uranus rotates in the opposite direction as most other planets. And unlike any other planet, Uranus rotates on its side. One day on Uranus lasts a little over 17 hours. 17 hours and 14 minutes, to be exact. One year on Uranus is the same as 84 years on Earth. Uranus has 27 known moons. Neptune Neptune is the eighth and most distant planet from the Sun. That means Uranus is Neptune's only neighboring planet. Neptune is dark, cold, and very windy because it's the last of the planets in our solar system. Neptune is very similar to Uranus. Neptune has six rings, but they're very hard to see. It's made of a thick fog of water, ammonia, and methane over an Earth-sized solid center. Its atmosphere is made of hydrogen, helium, and methane. The methane gives Neptune the same blue color as Uranus. One day on Neptune goes by in 16 hours. Neptune has such a long journey around the Sun. It takes 165 Earth years to go around once. That's a long year. Neptune has 14 moons. And Neptune is a very cold, windy world. Thanks for watching. See you on next video.